Well, children, I cordially welcome you to the E Lessons, Sixth Standard English. Shall we deal with the activity part of our Sixth Standard English? I think that you are all remembering the lesson, Life with the Grandfather. I think that you have gone through the textbooks many times. And you have got a concept. As I told you that we are going for the activities prescribed in the textbook. The first one is uh, let's revise the reading passage. In that area here it is stated that pick out the sentences which show grandmother's love towards Raja. That was the first activity. I think that is very easy for you. You may please go through the textbook once again and underline the lines which shows that grandmother has love with Raja. That much you can uh, pick out only three sentences. Let's come to the second activity. That is comparing the characters of grandmother and grandpa. You can derive only three characters of grandma and three characters of uh, grandfather. That means Grandfather and grandmother love Raja very much. How? For example, let me say, Grandmother follows like a shadow to Raja. Every time she said that, eat this food, drink this milk, just like that. What does this show? Actually, you may say love. That was the first characteristic of character of grandmother. Come to grandfather. Grandfather did not let Raja to go outside and play with his friends. Why was that? Grandfather thinks that my grandson will be spoiled with his character. That is Likewise, one character of grandmother and one character of grandfather. You may uh, come back. Grandmothers and grandfathers. You can write only three of grandpa, grandfather and three of grandmother. That much. Let me say one more example. That is, grandmother became very furious to grandfather while the missing of Raja. She said, you are responsible for the missing. You drove away my child. Like that. This also shows love. Then come to grandfather's side. Grandfather was, uh, grandfather lost his temper to his neighbors and friends. While they were consoling grandfather and grandmother, he should say, he said that, please don't say like that. You may go outside and search my Raja and search my Raja like that. So, you can have two characters. Likewise, you write one more, that much. I think that you may remember, you can remember what I said. Then come to the third activity. It is very, very easy. As you all uh, did in fifth standard and fourth standard, that is an activity to write the thoughts of Raja. Raja is at the Aten of Kaushet. He was hiding there. At that time, 
he was thinking of grandfather and grandmother. What may be they are doing? They will be very, 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 very sad. What I did, whether it is right or wrong, these are the thoughts of Raja. You may sit down, think, did Raja do the correct thing? He is thinking, write his thought. That is the third activity. Then come to the fourth one. That is, there are so many inst incidents, instances in the story. For example, mother's attitude towards Raja, the shaking of the tree, the crowd gathered in the house while Raja was missing. These are all the instances. Among these instances, which instance or which incident did you like best? You write it in ten, ten lines in your language. Do not mug it up from the textbook. Okay? Right. Then the last one is write any funny experience in your life. That means while Raja was shaking the tree, shaking the sandalwood tree, all the water drops fell down. All the water drops soaked uh, grandmother, sorry, grandfather. It was a funny thing. Do you have any such incident, instance, experience in your life? I had an experience. Shall I? Okay. Now, we can do one day. When I was a boy like you, while studying in 7th standard, I think, I was sleep sleeping on my cot. It was night. And I heard a noise under my cot. I thought, what it is? There was a dim light in the room. There is no such bright light, only a dim light. Slowly, I got up and looked under the cot. Yes, I saw a rat. A rat. It is making sound. Slowly, I went to the next room. And I called my mother. Mother, please get up. There is a rat under my cot. I want to kill it. Because this rat nibbed my school bag on the corner. I was very sad at that time. I want to take revenge on that rat. Mother came with me and slowly opened the kitchen and took a rod, a firewood piece. And slowly, without making any sound, I looked under the cot and slowly and with, with force, I beat the rat. What happened? It was not a rat. It was a small coconut with its tail. I was misunderstood. I was mistaken that. So it was my funny experience. For only, just for an example, I told you that. You think of your experience, funny experience, and write such an experience in your language. That is the fifth one. And that is the first revisiting of the story. Second activity, number two, that is a concept mapping. Concept mapping means I think that you have drawn the family tree. I told you in the last class. I think that you have done it. Now, concept mapping means here you can write your name. Just for example, your name, not my name. Then
Okay. Here is father. Father. Here it is mother. Here it may be your grandmother, grandfather, uncle, auntie, brother, sister, like that. How many legs you can write? You can draw. Now you can write father. In this lesson, life with grandfather, grandfather was a tall, strong man. Just like that, how is your father? Is he tall? Is he short? Just like that. And also, is he loving? Is he hot tumble? Just like that, you can write. Come to mother. How is your mother? How is your grandfather? How is your grandmother? How is your brother, sister? Just like that, you can make a concept map. Okay? I think that you can do it very nicely and easily. Now next one. Next one is activity number three. It is on page number 20. Uh, do one thing. After making this concept mapping, you can write a short note about your family. You can begin like this. My family is a small family. It has a father, mother, just like that. Go on. You make a brief note about your family. Okay. Now come to the next one. It is a very, very, very interesting and very fruitful for you. That is a script writing. There are many features for script writing. Before that, how will you write? You write the script first. Then you can send it to your teacher and get it edited. First, shall I give you some instructions that have been given, already given in the textbook. In the page number 20, there are five pictures. In the first picture, grandfather is telling, crazy boy, I will teach you a lesson. Actually, grandfather is telling this to Raja. What is Raja doing? Actually, you can see in the picture, Raja is shaking the tree. And what will he be telling? There is a bubble there. You can fill the bubble. So, what is Raja telling and what is Grandfather telling? What has Grandfather told? That is already written there. We come to the next picture. In the next picture, Grandfather is chasing Raja. But unfortunately, he fell down. And at that time, Raja, Grandfather was crying out, Help me! I have broke my leg, help me, just like that. But Raja is running for. What was Raja telling at that time? Then come to the third picture. Third picture, you can see the cow shed. On the Athen, Raja is standing there. And just below him, there is a cow. The cow is thinking, what is the boy doing there? What may be the Raja thingy? So these are the bits for conversation. What did Raja say? What did grandfather say? Just like that, you can go fourth picture and also fifth picture. And you can develop it. Why developing these bits of the conversation, you can make it a script. Before writing the script, you can write the situation also. Remember that if there is a stage, 
and on the stage how will be the movements just like that we can discuss is discuss it in the next class now i think that uh, you can understand you, un you already understood how this activity go thank you very much we can see in the next class